Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian and homeschool mom, and this belongs to uh, Kendra, who periodically shows up in my videos. Um, she's, by the time you guys see this, she's 14. She'll be 14. This is being filmed at the end of um, April. Uh, she'll be 14 at the end of May. So, and she's send marking things. Okay, let's move on to the <laughs> actual point of this video. So this is the last book in the Wolves of Beyond series by Catherine Lasky. So this is Star Wolf. So, by reading this book, I kind of figured out where the heck they are. So, this is after the War of the Amber. Definitely. <clears throat> and all of their world seems to have completely collapsed. <laughs> so, the wolves were heading to where the blue, blue owls were. The owls were heading to where the blue owls were. So, because everything's destroyed because apparently the ember collapsed. No, we have no idea what's going on up north. Uh, though apparently the, the glacier is co collapsing. So, here we have Fallon in this book, the final book, six books in the series. Um, again, called this is Star Wolf. They have decided, Fallon and his band, to cross the ice bridge. So, you have Fallon. You have, who, um, you have Edme, you have Kala, you have, who is Fallon's aunt, and the one who raised his sisters, you have his sisters, whose name I can't remember, one starts with an M, one starts with a D, you have Kala's son with Hood, I think is his name, um, he's the bad guy, and then you have now, I messed up with this in the earlier videos. Um, I cannot remember her name. She starts with a B. She was kind of, she was the, she was one of the watch wolves who was actually kind of nasty to Edme. And she had adopted a pup. <laughs> and she'd become a very good mother. So she's with them. Um, you have the pup that um, Edme adopted previously that they had found during the previous book. Um whose parents pretty much abandoned him to die. So you have him. Um, trying to think, is there another pup? I know there are three pups involved here. So yes, you have Edme's, yes, Kala's. You have the one B something adopted. You have the one Edme adopted. And you have Kala and her. So you have three cubs. So you have the three cubs. All these nine wool. Um, then you have Whistler. Whistler's there too. Um... And I think we had two other wolves that were um, from the Blood Watch. So, yeah, you have a bunch of wolves, an owl, um, and two baby polar bears, and two baby black, two bear, baby bears. <laughs> we're going to cross this um, ice bridge. So, they're crossing this ice bridge. Oh, yes, and the owl is going blind. <laughs> She's going blind. And the stars are changing. Um, so they have, they're being, they're going across this bridge because the deep blue to another land is where they're going. Um, best way I can um, envision it is humans lead, a human leader leading his people across the land bridge between Alaska and Russia. And this is that's kind of, only this is a heck of a lot smaller and it starts to melt at some point. <laughs> so if people were crossing just as this thing was starting to melt, this would be the situation. So there's ice flows everywhere. They run into puffins. A pair of eagles join them. Um, yeah. And that's how they find out what the heck the owls were doing. So, and then... Um, him or no, that, that, that's not the right name. Um, that's something else. <laughs> the whatever age, I think it's Hep. Um, the golden wolf that didn't have a tail that was Kala's mate for a brief period of time, which she was crazy um, and denounced her foster daughters and basically who hates Fallon because he blames Fallon for everything. Him and a uh, the remaining group of uh, outlier wolves that he had gathered are chasing them. And now all he's obsessed with is vengeance. He just wants to kill Fallon and kill Kala. Or 
Cara, or however you pronounce her name. I think it's C-I-A-R-A. I don't know uh, how you're pronouncing her name here. Um, but that's all he wants. That's the only reason he's following the, following the bridge. So that, that is his entire point. He just wants, he wants to kill his former maid in front of his son and kill Fallon. That's what he wants. So, and no, this does not happen. Um, but so moving on at one point in time, uh, crossing the bridge there is getting heavy winds. This isn't just, yeah, there's mountains and glaciers that they're dealing with, um, trying to cross this and, um, Kara's son falls into the water and he is rescued. This is where the narwhals come in. So the narwhals help rescue him and bring him up. And um, the owl was able to grab him and rescue him. So he's able to, and then he starts having a weird understanding of things and starts talking um, like a wise young wolf, which he's not because he's, Literally, I think the youngest of the group. <laughs> he's the baby. Um, so, uh, I think he's the baby. And who the heck is younger? Uh, there are three cubs in this group. <laughs> I think Mattis is the oldest. I think that's what they call him. Um, moving on. So, that's also how they start interacting with the puffins. The eagles show up saying, oh, by the way, you're being chased by this guy. And He's a blonde wolf with a tail, um, and he didn't used to have a tail. Uh, so it's like you, they eventually realize they're, uh, these guys are gaining on them, so they go back to the ice. Now, before this, both Fallon and Edme have to, Edme keeps being drawn back to the bridge. Eventually, she's drawn to a spot, um, and it is revealed that her and Fallon had been two of the first wolves of the Watch. And that was their first incarnation. And then she died. And now she, this is her second incarnation. This is Fallon's, like, fifth and last. Apparently her last as well. And she actually had to tell him to leave her to die at one point in time. So they basically get married. <laughs> they get married um, in wolf speak. So they remarry. It's like, we're already married. It's like, yes, but let's do it with these names and in, in these bodies. So they do that. And so they are mated. And then they go back. And what now Ed, um, Ed May is not as connected. So she kept wanting to go back to the bridge. And what they end up having to do is they have to end up basically um, ice jumping. And so it's like they jump from ice flow to ice flow and then swim if they have to. And the eagles help carry the babies, and the polar bears are now not polar bears. I keep thinking polar bears because I have the I have the books for the polar bears over here on the side here, um, and those are, that's where I'm going next. But the regular, I'm pretty sure they're grizzlies. Um, they're bigger now, and obviously they know how to swim because they also grow faster than say wolves, and wolves are smaller obviously than bears. Um, so the bears help them climb on their backs. And, but they do end up having to go back because things really start messing around. So, unfortunately, bad guy um, comes back and he ends up kidnapping his son because his son kind of goes to the edge to get fish because the puffins have been feeding him. The puffins have been feeding him. Um, and they, so, and this is when Fallon and Ed May are, so actually, no, no, back. Where they had been walking on the ice before it broke apart. And, sorry. And that's just before they started jumping. Um, and then they go back. And that's when um, the little wolf is kidnapped by his father and his father's band. Um, and they do end up finding a wolf who had been part of that group who separates from them because he doesn't like what the heck they're doing. Um, so he joins with them. And... Kala and one of the other wolves, the um, bee something who had been one of the watch wolves, um, and this other wolf go and try to get her kid back. Um, bee word ends up dying. Fallon shows up. Um, he, she gets her throat ripped out. And basically she had previously sworn um, the owl and um, Ed May to take care of her pup. And so that's 
what they do. She's going, they're going to, they have to have this little one mourn its mother, um, who had been, she's still been nursing her at night. So she wasn't completely weaned. Um, so, but they do not kill the big bad guy. They do kill some of the, some of the others, but they get the cubs back. Then they start having to jump ice flows because that was the only way to get away from them completely. Um, eventually they do have to come back and there is a final, um, big, uh, confrontation. He, bad guy dies. Basically he drowns. Um, and his little one gets away because one, his little one knows how to swim. He does not. Um, and I think the narwhals help him. And then the narwhals end up helping them entirely and basically swimming them to land, to this new land. And there is Buffalo. And that's kind of how it ends. It's Edme and Fallon's job in this incarnation was to lead the wolves to a new land because their old land was destroyed and there was famine. And there was, the herds were gone. And so, and then he runs into a horse. And that leads into another series. So this is why I think I miss, messed up here. I think the bears are in between the Guardians of Gahul and the wolves. So I kind of messed up here. So if you're going to read these things straight through, probably read the bear series first. So, and I'm not going to put that, I'm not going to rearrange this. Um, it's too much of a nuisance. Uh, and the wolves are, uh, the bear is shorter. The Bears series is just three. Um, so that would be kind of my recommendation. I should have been paying more attention. But the Wolves played a bigger part in the Guardians of Gahul, so that was where I was paying attention when I finished, when I set this up originally. So that is the end of this review and this series. Again, this is roughly recommended to 9 to 12-year-olds. So like I've been saying, late elementary, middle school, again, I kind of enjoyed it as much as I had to read them quickly because I have a small kid um, and I'm trying to finish up this year. Again, this is being filmed at the end of um, end of February and I try to keep ahead of things so I can take days off because, again, I got a kid <laughs> so and a life. So sometimes I don't, I don't always film every night. So um, if you like what you see, and you've liked seeing this review, again, if you haven't watched My Guardians of Gahul, which is the owls, be sure to watch that. The bears are coming. I think that's going to overlap into next year. Uh, coming next year, we have the Anne of Green Gables series, which is overlapping with um, the Animorphs, which, again, I'm doing in, which I, one, found on through the wonders of Reddit, was able to, will be able to access uh, online. So I'm going to do that in groups of five, just because I think they're pretty small books. And there's 50, like, two of them. I'm not going to read them one by one um, <laughs> and review them one after the other. I've also kind of heard that um, they get, the middle ones get very, very boring. <laughs> not very good. So we will be, we, that's the way we'll be doing that. So I will also be doing the Anne of Green Gables series. Um, and with the film aspect of that, my media aspect of that, I am doing all four films done by Sullivan, as well as, and that's the guy who did the ones with, um, I can't remember the name of the actress, but the ones that most people know, um, not Anne with an E, um, I'm not going there. I may go there at a later date, but who knows? I have not watched those. I think they're on Netflix. I don't have Netflix. They might be on Amazon Prime, which I do have, but I'm sticking to what I know. So, and what I bought, because I have the entire Road to Avonlea series, all seven series, so I'm going to be covering that, and that was a significant part of my childhood. That's how, what I knew first, as opposed to the Anna Green Gables films, though my sister says one of the other, um, or no, uh, but again, I will be reviewing those, and when I say the Anna Green Gables series, I mean all of her books, which end with Rilla of Ingleside, and then there are three sets of short stories, which um, one of which was only published in like 2019, um, to give an idea where Anna Green Gables came from. Anna Green Gables, um, Ella Montgomery, I believe, died before World War II. So um, that gives you an idea. I don't know why it took that long for the family to release that. 
So um, after that, I'm going to go to the Boxcar Children. No, I'm not covering all of those. I'm doing the first, I think it's either 15 or 19 that was written by the original author because there's hundreds of those. And I'm assuming after um, it hits the original author, it starts being really, really formulaic. Um, because from what I've read, they age in the originals and then afterward they pretty much stay young. So, um, so I'm going to stick with that. Then I'm going to go to the Wings of Fire series, which is brand new. It's still barely functioning. Um, it should be interesting. And then you're probably going to get a bunch of mystery series in 2015 <laughs> or not 2015, uh, 2025, partially because I'm doing mysteries this um, in December of next year and trying to find singular works was really, really hard. <laughs> so we ended up finding a bunch of series that, was, that looks good. That looks interesting. And so we're going to end up covering them. I think I have another one that was when I was looking up something for metalworking, uh, which is what's coming up in January. By the way, we're doing some metalworking. We're doing some books on glass, um, glass blowing, um, and a few other more unusual crafts. I'm covering the Black History Month. I'm covering the Titanic in April. I'm covering women's history in March rather than the Irish history, which I've covered the last couple of years. Um, what else am I covering? I'm covering Angel Island uh, and Asian immigration from the West. Um, in May, in June, I'm covering Eastern Immigration and Ellis Island to the East. I know I'm covering Beauty and, Be Beauty and the Beast this year. Um, I have no idea else, 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 what else is on my calendar besides mysteries. And I think I'm covering space. We're doing some space stuff. Um, I think that's, uh, no, November. Maybe it's October. <laughs> I can't remember. Um my brain doesn't always work. But again, there's a lot more coming. Um, I have a lot of stuff in the past. If you want to check out Black History Month, Asian History Month, um, LGBTQ stuff, a bunch of stuff. So be sure to check out the rest of my channel. Leave a positive comment if you have one. And thank you.